अफ्तारी ग्रामर स्कूल डिस्कवर इंग्लिश फॉर लेसन द ह्यूमन बॉडी सिस्टम्स एट वर्क चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व लेक्चर नंबर नाइन पार्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सिनोनिम्स ऑफ पैराग्राफ्स नंबर वन टू वर्ड्स सिनोनिम्स अमेजिंग हैरत अंगेज सरप्राइजिंग चुनिंग यूनिट ग्रो कंपोनेंट पार्ट एंशियंट कदीम अर्लीस्ट पास्ट डिफरेंटली मुख्तलिफ अनयूजली वेरियसली टूगेदर इकट्ठा जॉइंटली एट द सेम टाइम वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव The human body is amazing for many reasons. Students, if I will raise the question, why is human body amazing? What will be your answer? Your answer will be the human body is amazing for many reasons. Okay. First of all, it has many parts it's thinking time tell the first reason that makes human body amazing i hope you are thinking the same first reason is the human body has many parts hmm. Each part is special and has an important job to do. Students, my question is, is each human body part special and why does each body part amazing? Okay, okay ma'am. Yes, each human body part is special. because each body part has an important job to do exactly next all of those parts work together in a system that do even bigger jobs my question is how does body parts work I hope your answer will be same. All of the body parts work together in a system and they do even bigger jobs. In addition, all of those systems work together as one unit so that they can live a happy and healthy life wow students my question is how and why does body systems work okay okay ma'am all the body systems work together as a unit so that they can live a happy and healthy life exactly in ancient time people used to think differently about the human body okay students my question is When did people used to think differently about the human body? Ma'am, the answer is in ancient time 
people used to think differently about the human body interesting today so we know that there are over 10 major systems in the human body it's thinking time students how many major systems are there in the human body okay okay ma'am there are over 10 major systems in the human body okay let's look at two of these systems and how well they work together for your good health students if i will raise a question what are the names of these two body systems and why do they work together what will be your answer ma'am answer is the names of two body systems are respiratory system and circulatory system and they work together for our good health exactly good answer students now we are going to learn the synonyms of paragraph number 3 4 5 and 6 word synonyms major bada vital great carries le jata hai moves brings flow bahao go along pass pump pump push send create banana produce make real informative the respiratory system this system bring oxygen into your body and takes carbon dioxide out of your body students it's thinking time what is respiratory system okay ma'am the respiratory system brings oxygen into your body and takes carbon dioxide out of your body carefully look at this picture okay the major parts of the respiratory system are the trachea the lungs and the diaphragm students can you tell me what are the names of major parts of respiratory system yes of course ma'am the major parts of respiratory system are the trachea the lungs and the diaphragm good hey students do you know you breathe about 20000 times every day students can you tell me how many times do you breathe every day okay okay ma'am we breathe about 20000 times every day how interesting is that check your lungs par one get a package of large balloons make sure they are 
all the same size. Give one to each friend. Students, have you done that? Yes, of course, ma'am. Okay, comes to the next step. Then, tell everyone to blow once into their balloons, filling them as much as possible. Then, measure the balloons whose is the biggest. Okay, ma'am. Three boys blow the same sized balloon. The two boys blow small balloons. But one of them blows the biggest balloon because this boy has better lungs power than other two. Good experiment. The respiratory system. This system carries oxygen and food to all of the cells in your body. Students, my question is, what is the first step of circulatory system? Okay, okay ma'am. The answer is, in the first step, the circulatory system carries oxygen and food to all of the cells in your body. Okay. It then removes carbon dioxide and other waste products from those cells. Students, it's thinking time. What is the second step of circulatory system? I hope you are thinking the same. In his second step, the circulatory system removes carbon dioxide and other waste products from those cells. Exactly. The major parts of the circulatory system are the heart, the arteries, the veins, the capillaries, and the blood that moves through those parts. My dear students, can you tell me? What are the major parts of circulatory system? Yes, yes ma'am, I can tell you. The major parts of the circulatory system are the heart, the arteries, the vein, the capillaries and the blood that moves through those parts. Yes, good. I hope students, you have learned well by watching the video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.